So we were talking about this meteor shower. Oh, I can't wait. And we should get another little glimpse at it because yeah. we did forget to say that. You can see it with the naked eye, and yep. it's like the one perk of actually getting up in the overnight hours. Uh, exactly, because what is this, like 2 a.m. is the prime target? Yeah, it's, like it's that? One, one of the primes. So it's good tonight, but it's also kind of good on the 14th. Um, so it's okay. around 2, 2 a.m. Um, you can try late in the evening or, again, very early tomorrow morning on the 14th. Nice. Um, the moon. The reason that we can see a lot of this is that we're on the dark cycle of the moon here and it can be like pretty frequent you can just kind of glance up at a starlit sky if you don't have city light pollution i've been out east i've been you know on the connecticut coast and also on the jersey shore and seen the leonids or the perseids and these uh, are the geminids so they are a part of this asteroid that That's was discovered cool. in 1983 and they kind of fly off of That's it so, so you should cool. be able to see a so lot an asteroid as opposed to a comet yeah very cool i'm definitely going to be looking up Thankfully, I won't be driving. I want to hear so. what you see. I want to hear. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I want to hear what you see. Tomorrow. We can do a comparison since we're all kind of coming from different areas. We can see what we see. So that's Absolutely. good. Absolutely, yeah. I think that's a plan. All right.